into notes from Alicia saying we've got so many things going on this week in fact I'm going to have to put some of the things into next week's video so this week we're going to be looking at removing some concrete from one of the walls and repairing the wall uh, and I've been mixing up some lime mortar to put the wall plate uh, along the top of the barn wall ready for the roof to start going on and I've been pointing the barn wall on the outside and trying to keep it wet and not into the sun too much so that's this week's video and I hope you enjoy it so this is a little bit of old cement that's on the corner of the barn um, I'm just going to crack it off and then that whole corner there's it's okay but it's a bit loose so I'm just going to do a bit of a repair on that, do a bit of pointing and uh, yeah that'll just stabilise that and I'm also just going to chop this old water pipe just going to chop that off, that runs all the way, we used to run all the way around the barn and there's little uh, drinks troughs all the way around so you used to have cattle in here so anyway I'll chop that off and uh, get on and strip the cement off So the question is, do we make a bigger window and get rid of that lintel? Because I really do think that if that deteriorates over time, there's going to be a gap there and that means stones are going to start falling down within the wall. And we don't want that. We want to make it nice and secure. So we will definitely take out the wood and fill it in. Whether we make the window bigger or not is the next question. At the moment, it's being held up and supported, which is good because we didn't actually know that there was no support there. Anyway... This old building, it's been here a while. I think it'll be here a little while longer. So yeah, it's just interesting. You can see the old window up there and how there was definitely the shape of a chimney. So we think that that was probably an old window. Right, so I'm just gonna mix the mortar for the wall plate just to bed that in and then we've got a bit of repair work. I've got to knock some cement off on the corner of the barn and, and Nick's gonna point that up and repair it. So basic lime mortar mix, three sand to one lime and then just add water to taste really and then um, let it mix. We let it mix for about half an hour because it, it kind of transforms during the mix. The lime, it goes, I don't know, they call it fattier. It goes kind of smoother and it's certainly a lot nicer to work. So where with the cement you might only mix it for a few minutes, three or four minutes and it'll be fine. With the lime it really benefits from having well, we found at least half an hour. So while it's mixing, we just go off and do something else um, and just check back on it. And then if you need to, just add a bit of water. Because the other thing I found, if you put what you think is enough water to start with, by the time it's finished mixing, it'll be too wet. So it needs to look a bit dry to start with. And then as it mixes, it'll, it's, it sort of looks wetter over time. Um, anyway, I'll get on and mix that up. And you want a mask, because lime's not nice stuff. And... Uh, Safety specs. First bit of good dry weather for a while, so everyone's gone mad with their strimmers today. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this mixed up.
So that's got the water in. I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll leave it to mix for about half an hour and then it'll look a bit different when it's all done. So that's been mixing away for about half an hour and you can probably see it's gone into a nice consistency now. Um, just about right, I think, in terms of how much water. So we get that out now and then we can start getting these wall plates on top of the wall and get this bit of repair work done. Okay, so I'm ready to put them all to mix. I'm ready to get this uh, this wall plate on. So I've got a nice big chunk of oak there, four about four by five inch, and that just sits just sits on there. You can see there that one's in. This is a new one. So I'll bed it in some mortar, get it level. And that's it really, and as I said before, the biggest pain is then drop the scaffold, move it back up again and we can actually then start getting rafters on, which is, starts getting more exciting then. It's really loose. So you need to remove the loose stuff, wet down the old stuff so that the line so the line will stick to it. So wetting it down. Wetting it down so the line will stick. And we'll get some more in there as well. I think he's really thirsty. He seems to want to come towards the wall where it's wet. Gorgeous. I love this time of year. We've got some amazing plants going in the garden. We'll do plenty of nectar that they'll love and the bees will love. So it's wonderful to welcome all the insects.
wall plate that Simon put up earlier and we can get the rafters attaching to that and up towards the beam. So exciting, it's going to look so great once it's all brushed off and all the edges are neat. It was a really hot day yesterday so we had to keep wetting the wall down to make sure that the lime didn't dry off too quickly. Um, and now we can just literally brush off and just get a much nicer finish, all those rough edges. And I can do that with a softer brush because it's um, wetter. Now in some of the places where it dried a bit harder, I'm gonna have to use a metal brush just to clean up the stone. You can see where it's gone white, probably further up at the top as well. But you just need to get in there with that it's a bit more difficulty. Take it off the stone. You see there where it's much harder. Basically because it dried quicker, which is not ideal. So we have to use a metal brush on those parts because they won't just rub off with a soft, soft brush. But it's still soft enough and that just neatens up the wall. So we'll come back and have a look at that when I've finished it. We use quite a coarse river sand on our pointing. A lot of people use a finer sand, but we like the rustic look that you get with it. And we like the way that when you've brushed it off, it just sits nicely around the stones. So really pleased with that. Gives it an old look, blends in with the original and we're very happy so i hope you enjoyed that in next week's video we're going to be looking at drains and driveways look at that are you home yeah